What do we be saying, everyone? And Merry Sunglasses Day! Apparently it's a thing. Uh, yeah, t today's the National Day of Sunglasses. I did not know that. I, I bet you didn't. Again, we're learning things on the Blackboard channel. Uh, but yeah, hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today's episode is episode number six, seven? Hold up. Uh, it, 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 do be, it do be episode number eight, actually, of uh, the Good You Pro Cyclist. Uh, today's episode will mark the first, well, the start of our Tour de France. Technically, the first week of it. Uh, now, before we start, I just wanted to see to say something. The upload schedule um, or the upload speed will get slowed down in the upcoming weeks. The reason being that I usually record at night uh, or like late in the evening, and I will now have the E Tour de France, which I'll be streaming over on my Twitch. Can the fucking cops shut up? Fucking hell. Um, and yeah. Uh, I'll be streaming so over on my Twitch, which means I have less time to record, and also I don't want to like fucking burn out because I'm currently burning out. Uh, I'm, I've been uploading like what twice a day for two uh, for two months. No, not for two months. I, I'm completely mental. Like for a solid month now, and that's way too much. That's way too much. So yeah, uh, we'll slow down a bit. Uh, I'm going to prioritize Williams and David Godu. It's it's possible that like the All Star Tour and the Trek Tour de France playthrough uh, takes a solid like two weeks break, uh, and then when I'll be on holiday, uh, this video will get uploaded. But yeah, enough talking. Uh, as I said, today's video marks the start of our Tour de France campaign with David Godu. It starts with Nice, Moyen Pays Nice. It's going to be a very good practice again for my Tour de France. Uh, that's the third tour I've been doing this week. All right. Plus three for David. Uh, oh, by the way, our team. Alexis Brunel, Arnaud Demar, David Godu, Stéphane Kung, Thibaut Pino, Anthony Roux, Miles Scottson, and Romain Seigle. Let's get it. And our Tour de France is on the way. It's a plus three for David Godu. I just remembered I'm playing in 1.5 difficulty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, well, it's, uh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Uh, the entire team is having a bad day. Except me, I'm not gonna go in the breakaway. That's a good thing. Um, who's that? Is that Wood Van Aert? Most likely is. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's stay in this peloton. Uh, let's casually enjoy our plus three uh, and let's see what we can do in Nice. Final nine kilometers before Nice, and uh, we've taken a little Wood Van Aert. I know, again, it's not realistic to sprint, apparently. Oh, Wood Van Aert, you're a prick. Why did you decide to forget about the sprint, for fuck's sake? Uh, can I get Caleb? No. Shit. Uh, I can't use, like, Scottson or Thibaut. I don't even know where Demar is. Can I still not get Caleb? Fuck's sake. Uh, uh Sam Bennett? Yes! We can, we can get Sam Bennett, which is the best wheel, technically, right now. Because he's in the best position in the wheel of, uh, I think that's Gaviria. It is. It is the wheel of Gaviria. Come on! David Goudou in the wheel of Sam Bennett. Three kilometers until the sprint. The sprint has now started as well. It is Kroivike starting on his own. Goudou going completely drop by Sam Bennett. Jesus Christ. The lack of acceleration is phenomenal. All right, we're not going to do anything good. The first winner on this Tour de France is Sam Bennett. Second place for Dylan Honewegen, Gaviria, Caleb Ewan, Michael Matthews, Arnaud Demar, Tunes, Barbier, Goudou comes home in the top 10 and called Brilliant Tense. All right. It's another plus three. Ooh, sorry about that, minus two. Uh, but we have already removed our white jersey. Of, no, our, actually our champion's jersey to get the white one. David Godu is the best young rider currently of the Tour de France in ninth position in the general classification. Now, uh, today's an interesting day because I've done this stage way too many times now. I feel like I kind of know what I could do. We're going to try. Uh, as like I mean, I, I love... Um, trying weird attacks because uh, I feel like it's good for the content and also if it works well it's good I'm just not gonna wait until the final sprint we'll see if we can attack in the cold days we'll see if we can attack in the cold days if we can uh, we'll do a big downhill all right we've got 73 today then we'll try and pace in the quatre chemin again downhill towards Nice see if we can get I don't know uh, a nice win we'll see it depends if like there's many teammates for, I'm guessing, the team Ineos. I haven't checked the start list, but I'm guessing... Yeah, Bernal, Carapaz, Froome, Sivukov, and Thomas Seher, and Kutkowski. They've got, again, a good team. Jan Bovisma with Roglic and Dumoulin and Kroivike. 
Um, the Yates brothers are there, are, are there for Mitchelton, sorry. Uh, you have Lander for Bahrain, Fulsang Lopez for Astana, Molem Port, no sense of Nibali for Trek, Tade Pogacar is here for UAE and uh, Quintana Barguil for Arkea. Quintana, I need to stop um, forgetting about him because the man battered me on the Paris Nice. And there's a crash in A7. There's a crash in A7. It, it, I mean, he, they might come back. They most likely will as well. Uh, can I not? Oh, yeah, was, yeah. I can't see anything. But oh, you can see now here. Yeah. Julien Lafilippe has crashed. He should be able to come back. But it's already a first crash for the Frenchman. And it's never a good thing. It's never a good thing to crash in the early stages of the Tour de France. Who's that Polka Dot jersey? That's Kevin Inkala currently wearing the Polka Dot jersey. Not for long. Obviously, as there's two climbs today. Stel Martala, Colmian, Col du Turini. And then uh, Col des N, Col des Quatre Chemins. Where is David? Why is you getting dropped? Go back at the front, David. Uh, but we'll just take a look at the current break. Where we had two riders, Serge Pauls and Harm Van Hooker. The two Belgians uh, respectively took 10 and 8 points at the uh, Col de Saint-Martin la Colmian. Even Kevin Kerr got two points, uh, so he, that would put him on seven. So no, Serge Pavons is currently well into the leader of the mountain classification. The green jersey has been dropped, a green jersey that was worn, I believe, by Ronde Wegen. Indeed, it was. Uh, okay. Okay. We've only got three riders left in the peloton. Obviously, Thibaut is there. Uh, Stefan Kung is here, the uh, vice champion of, um, of Switzerland. Uh, and David... Logical, logical to see Mr. Godu uh, still in the peloton. Now, uh, the peloton might not catch Van Hoek and, and, and uh, Powell's quite yet, though. The gap was like 30 sec 40 seconds. It is now 140. So the, the gap has massively increased. Uh, and you can see that some riders are coming back in what is now a 100-man peloton. Even Stefan Kung is managing to uh, retain energy. And to recover energy, mainly. Okay, nice. Well, I just wanted to complete my uh, my rider objective by pacing 30 kilometers at the front of the peloton. Uh, we just finished doing that with David Godu, and it is now a 53-man peloton. We've lost everyone. Uh, the yellow jersey is fucked up. Fucked off, sorry. Uh, Stefan Kung has taken three and a half minutes on David. But Serge Powell's with 20 points, will be the new polka dot jersey of this Tour de France should we finish, should he finish the stage in Nice today. All right, we're going to start the cold days. Uh, I don't think I'll attack now. Uh, it looks like everyone still has energy. We're going to wait, I think, for uh, for the Col des Quatre Chemins. Which, I mean, starts exactly the same. Obviously, the Col des is um, a follow-up of uh, the uh, Quatre Chemins. You just have to take a left hand instead of a right uh, to continue climbing. Something that the riders will do in uh, the upcoming six kilometers as the rhythm has really, really increased under the impulsion of Rowan Dennis, the leader of the team Ineos. Uh, Serge Powell is now co-op. Lutsenko has taken the lead of the peloton. You've got the champion of, uh, of Spain, the Spanish champion, Yoni Zagire, in fourth position, as you can see, his, uh, his uh, well, NC jersey, or Spanish jersey. Three national champions in the first group. Make that four, with make that five, actually, make that six, make that seven. Seven national champions, in eight with Fabio Aru in the top 50 right now. We're going to cross the summit of the Coldes in... Uh, what is now three kilometers, I believe. 48 riders left in the main group. We're gonna finish the Col de Quatre Chemins now, but instead of taking this right hander, we're gonna continue straight uh, or continue and go left as you wish to uh, start the uh, officially called as Puncture for Simon Yates. Puncture for Simon Yates at the worst possible moment for the British rider, the winner of the 2019 Vuelta a Espana. That, uh, 2018 Vuelta a España, sorry. That's not good. That is not good at all. Attack from Miguel Angel Lopez on the right-hand side of the road. Roglic follows with Ildon Zakarin, with Julio Ciccone. The teammates are trying to chase down the Colombian rider. Thibaut Pino as well making an, act, an attack, but you can see the fitness and the yellow bar of uh, the winner of the Giro d'Italia is not good at all. He needs to recover in this downhill portion. We're going to try and go back at the front of this group. As we still have the likes of Theo Gegenhardt for Ineos. I think Ineos still has everyone in this first group. Uh, Bernal Carapaz. I think Dennis might be gone. No, Dennis is there. Uh, no, no, no. Dennis is indeed gone. Ron Dennis is indeed gone. Um, from Gegenhardt. Kutkowski is on as well. Nope, Kutkowski is there. 
Pavel Sivakov is here, and Gary Thomas is here. Yeah, the only one I don't know where it is, it's Etron Dennis. I just don't know where Ryan is. But we're going to recover in this downhill of the Quatre Chemins, and, uh, of, well, the, uh, the downhill of the Coldez, and we'll get ready for the next climb. 14k to go. David is already in the lead of this group. Uh, Dylan Tons is the one currently next to me. He's got... Yeah, I can't surprise him. Ala Philippe! Ala Philippe, he fell already once on this tour, but he's now going to attack. And the French champion directly in his wheel. It's a two-man attack, the two Frenchies. They were fighting already for the win in Ajaccio earlier this season. David trying to chase him down again. And he's going to jump in the wheel of the Frenchman. Come on, David. This is your time. And the counter attack by David Godu. Come on. Two kilometers until the summit for David Godu. Can I pace? Can I pace? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nine seconds, eight seconds. The gap is uh, being co op by uh, Julio Chicone. But Julio is out of energy. Warren, Warren has energy. Shit, he's going to catch me. Warren might catch me, but I'm just hoping that I can hold on until the, the downhill and go into an acro and hopefully not crash. Let's go. Come on, David. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, son. You got this. You've got this. I'm not going to try and jinx it like I did on the Dauphiné. We're going to stop as soon as there's a red bar. I think now you can. Now it's basically flat. Come on. David Godu for his first potentially potential win on the Tour de France. Oh, we're pacing, pacing. We're pacing, pacing. We're going to use our gel. Make sure that we don't go into too much uh, danger territory here. Like, I mean, we, we've got a history of doing that, whether it is with Purito, whether it is with David Godu. Uh, we're going to go into an aerodynamic position. We're going to attack with two kilometers left on the clock. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. One kilometer, 20 seconds. I don't think that the peloton might... Oh my god, they're going to catch me. They're going to catch me on the line. I can't believe this. David, can you hold on? Yes, yes, he can. David Godu is a state winner on the Tour de France. Primus Roglic comes up in second place. Garin Thomas in third. Charman, Lopez, Carapaz, Bernal, Ala Filipino, and Lutsenko to complete the top 10. Woo! We're yellow jersey. All right, win and yellow jersey. I'll happily take that. Apparently, there's no gaps until P40. Uh, interesting, but I didn't see the group behind, so it potentially was real. I don't know. But yeah, more in yellow. All right, plus two for David today. Uh, but it should be a very, very easy stage for the now new yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Let's try and enjoy this jersey as much as we can. I don't think we'll be able to keep it tomorrow, uh, mainly if we have to work for Thibaut. But we shall see. Right, final seven kilometers. Uh, I'd love if Miles Scottson could like not be there. Thank you, Miles. Very kind of you, because when do we have Sam Bennett like for the first stage? Uh, I don't expect to do anything like for the first stage, but we shall see. We shall see. We're going to use our gel already. Uh, Miles, what are you doing? Stop protecting me. That's why you're fucking blocking me right now. Thank you, Miles. Uh, Sam, why are you losing positions? Because you're in the wheel of Caleb Ewan. That does make sense. Is someone protecting me? Why? I don't want to get protected. Alright, final sprint. When they will have Sam Bennett, two kilometers into the line. Caleb Ewan, Gaviria, Gronewegen. Oh, nice. Nice one, Sam. I mean, it's more of like Jasper Philipson's fault. Uh, oh, oh my god. How is he doing this? Even in my save with CCC, he's done this. Rudy Barbier wins the stage on the Tour de France. Mental. Absolutely mental. Alright, nothing changes GC-wise. That, oh, Arno finished 7th. Love that. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> There's a minute on everyone. Get in. We move. <laughs> We're now a minute clear of everybody in the GC. Nice. We might keep the jersey after all tomorrow at this rate. Arno plus 1 today, but minus 4 for Thibaut. Oh, wow. It might be a very bad day at the office for, uh, for FDG today. Might be a very, very bad day. Alright, we've officially started the climb towards Orsier Merlet. Uh, Thibaut is fucked. Alright, there's, there's no other way to put it. Thibaut is fucked. So, I guess it's gonna be Bernal, uh, me, Pogotsar, 
Lopez, potentially. Although he looks to have more, less energy now. Jumon's gone as well. That's going to be interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen. But Roglic and Jumon are both dead. And oh my. Already? Already? There's six kilometers left. Ah, we have to follow Simon Yates. Or oh, Adam Yates here. Yeah. yeah, we're going to follow Adam. We're going to follow Adam Yates. He's got more energy than I do as well. So I can't do anything like dumb. Uh, which, I mean, I'm usually, which usually something, is something that I do, sorry. Uh, Bernard is doing well, we're gonna follow Pugachar. No, we're not, okay, because he stopped. Julian, he stopped as well. Uh, okay. Oh, Thibaut is fucked off. Thibaut is fucked off. All right, David, may I need you to hold on in this group and not get blocked by, uh, by Zach Aaron. You did not hold on in the group. Where would Simon Yates? Can I take position behind Simon? And he brings me back to the front. I guess that somehow worked. Uh, okay. Bernal is in the lead. We've got Pogacar and Yates with him. Bernal is out of... Uh, okay, Bernal is in the same like health situation as I am. Mm. Okay, well, with Stora and Battistella. Going 15 on right now to try and recover as much energy as possible. Aerodynamic position. We can start our efforts. Uh, the good thing is that we won't die. We did die. Did I use sneaking instead of arrow? I can't remember what I just did. No, that's sneaking. That's arrow, right? Well, Serge Powell's wins in uh, Orsa Merlet ahead of Egan Bernal, Pogacar, Yates, Villela, Batistella. Adam Yates, uh, Batistella? Mad. We come in ninth place with David. I mean, we're the fifth favorite. I don't think that's too bad, you know. I honestly don't think that's too bad. We finish ahead of Valverde, Landa, Lopez, Alaphilippe, Zakarin, Molema, the entire peloton with Thibaut Pino, for example, who's going to lose four minutes. I don't think that's a bad stage. We've lost 114 on Powell, but that's not too big of a deal. We lost 27 seconds on Egan Bernal. Meaning we're going to keep our jersey, but we gained like a minute on Landa, well, no, 47 seconds on Landa and on Lopez, one minute on Alaphilippe, 130 on Zakarin, two minutes on Quintana, Fulsang, Lopez, uh, Roglic, Dumoulin, not even Dumoulin, more on Dumoulin, Thibaut and Garin Thomas are the two big losers with Bourgman here. Fucking hell. They've lost three minutes and a half on me. We're still leading jersey though, we're still the leader of the tour. 36 seconds of Egan Bernal, uh, and now we should have some... Just more calm stage before the Moiguel. Plus three. It's going to be a sprint. Yeah. I just want to keep my jersey today. And I think I should be able to do so. Final five kilometers. Uh, I haven't managed to find a wheel yet. I would have liked to take, an, uh, to take sorry, Miles Scottson. But I can't manage him. Uh, or Alexis Brunel. But he's way too far down. Uh, I would also like to get water. But yeah. Th things don't seem to be happening right now. Uh, although, there is this little hill, so potentially we can do something. I can take the wheel of Calabuan. That's good. It's going to be a, a high wheel, you know. It's going to be a very high wheel. Calabuan, Johnning and Kolb, Gaviria. We're, we're going to get massively dropped before the downhill. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a top 10 finish, but that's about it. Gaviria wins in Priva ahead of Arno de... Nope. Uh, Calabuan, Michael Matthews, Tuns, Demar, Godu, Laporte. Rudy Barbier, Trentin, Cole, Broly, Buani, and then John and Corbin, the peloton, I'm guessing. Well, I hope. Where's the peloton? There's gonna get. Oh, there's gonna be gaps again, isn't it? <laughs> there's gonna be gaps again. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, no gaps, no gaps, no gaps. Uh, we come in sixth position, and we stay in the yellow jersey ahead of the Mont Igual, which is the next stage. Plus three for David, and minus one again for Thibaut. Thibaut's campaign for the Tour de France is officially finished. And it genuinely is. And if only I could have some teammate, Thibaut. Huh? Or do you want to stay a greedy bastard? Even though you're currently 24th of the GC, for fuck's sake, man. Alright, as we start the Col des Mourez, which I'm pretty sure I've been driving on Esseto Corsa in the past few days. Uh, it's now clear that Breakaway will win. They're 30 minutes in the lead. So yeah. Can anyone fight for the GC up there? Actually, wait, let me take. 20 minutes, 24 minutes... 10 minutes, 37, 43, 40, 43, 43, 15, uh, and 37. No. Uh, actually, no. Actually, yes. Michael Storer. 
Marc Olstara could definitely go and fight for the win today. I think he was already in the breakaway that won in Orsia Merlet in stage 4. Uh, indeed, he was. He was in the group with that. I mean, he was just with me. Okay, he is virtually in the lead, but uh, it appears that the team Mitchelton Scott isn't exactly keen in letting uh, an Aussie taking the, the lead today. As we are in the Col de la Luzette, and we shall soon begin the... Uh, no, we're in the Col des Mourez, and the breakaway has started the Col de la Luzette. It's better like that. I'd love if I could get someone protecting me. I would love it, genuinely. It would be so much better. Like, come on. Thibaut Femme, you're done for. Before now, you get more energy than I do, or you're gonna you keep more energy than I do because you have someone protecting you. I mean, on paper. Uh, not anymore. Nice. But come on, just anyone protect me, please. Alright, we got uh, slightly dropped, which is definitely not good. Come on, we, we can come back, alright? Yeah? Yeah, 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 we can come back. We've got what it takes. We've got the legs to come back on this group. Nice. Uh, Thibaut, again, if you want to give me any sort of help, it's it's now. Like, come on, forget about your ego, large, and just, like, help me, innit? If I go 60, do I lose? Oh, no, I'm gonna lose a position to, to, to Israel right now. Hold up. I need to recover energy as much as possible in this downhill, because I'm not gonna be able to recover at all for the rest. I will go 50. If I, even if I'm dropped by Guillaume Martin, I'm expecting Bora to like pace me down. Can I take position behind, uh, behind Chris? Perfect. 940 for the lead, you know. Is it Stora in the lead? I don't know, I can't see it. I can't see who's in the lead. Uh, I'm guessing a lot of riders are gonna come back. Yep, the likes of Fulsang. Fulsang is 30 minutes down in the GC. Fucking hell. Uh, but Fulsang came back. Uh, uh, Philippe came back. Dumoulin came back. I've got 8 kilometers we're gonna start. The next climb towards the summit of the Mont Igual. Come on, 26 riders in this group. Acceleration from Tadej Pogacar and Mikel Landa. The third place of the GC. He's got much. Oh, he's got less energy than I do. Oh, interesting. Oh, Bernal has so much energy. Fucking hell. Bernal looks so good. A Zach from Yates. Oh, come on. Who are you? William Clark, you're a dickhead. Thibaut, any help? No? Okay, thank you, Thibaut. No, I'm not gonna protect you. Hey, Ona. Hey, Ona. Never doing that. Uh, it looks like today might lose a lot today. Hernando Borges is a stage winner on the Tour de France. Well, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. But congratulations, lad. Well done. Well done on that. Uh, Bernard is in my wheel. Today is dead. Thibaut is soon dead. Uh, I can go into an aerodynamic position, I guess. For 1.9 kilometers. Matthew Holmes in second place. Michael Storer in third. I'm going to keep on pacing. Uh, one kilometer left. Bernal is going to drop me and take the yellow jersey. Uh, we're going to finish with Yuri Natar. We're going to get dropped by Yuri Natarov. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So apart from Bernal, who beats me? Landa, Quintana, Zakarin. I finish with, can I finish with Lopez uh, and Demlo? Alright, uh, no gaps with the Carapaz, yeah? We finish with Thibaut Pinot as well, apparently. Yeah, that didn't go well, but... I mean, I guess we finish ahead of Pogacar, which is good for me. Alright, so we've lost... 38 seconds on Bernal, for 2 seconds we lose the jersey. That's an L. Uh, we lose 20 seconds on Landa, uh, 10 seconds on Zakarin. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, GC-wise, we are now second, two seconds behind Bernal, but we gained time mainly. Crucially, we gained time on Tadej Pogacar, on Adam Yates, and on Simon Yates. That's very good for me. All right, next up, say, ooh, wow. up next, sprint stage. Uh, and I think we'll finish after Mio Lavor. Alright, final stage of the episode. Uh, it's a sprint stage between Mio and Lavor. Now, uh, this, I mean, there's bonus seconds. There's four bonus seconds. I don't believe I'll be able... I mean, no, there's 10, 6, and 4, obviously. Um, I don't believe I can be on the podium. I don't believe I can be on the podium. 
I think we'll have to settle for second place to uh, round up this episode. But again, I wish I could have a teammate. I really do wish I could have a teammate here. Seven kilometers left, uh, and we'll be fighting for the sprint. There's one rider dropped. I think that's Mike Tunison. Uh, it's not. It's Hector Carretero. So despite having a puncture, uh, Tunison is still there. Interesting. Rukosh has accelerated. Can I get away with Caviria? I cannot. Can I get away with Molano? I can. Can Molano keep sprinting? He cannot. Oh. Well, that's not good, isn't it? Uh, we're going to try and stay in this wheel. Is it downhill towards the finish? It is. It do be downhill until the finish. Mm. What do I do? Do I start now? If I start now, is, everyone, is anyone going to follow me? Let's see. No one follows. No one follows. Come on. Come on, David. Come on. Come on, son. Come on. 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 Oh, we fucked it. Nah, 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 no. Fam, we had Rudy Barbier winning a stage. It's now Nasser Boigny. Really? Boigny, Caleb Ewan, Rene Wegen, Gaviria, Rudy Barbier in fifth, Edouard Tunes, Demar, Kokar. Sorry, Godwin, eight, Kokar, and Cole Bradley. All right, eighth place to finish this stage and to finish this episode. No gaps whatsoever. We will be second of the classification at the end of today's stage. Yep. Seven and eight for uh, Demar and uh, Godu. I can't believe that Nasser Boigny is a stage winner on the tour. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, no gaps whatsoever, GC-wise, we are well into in second place, two seconds behind again Bernal. We'll see if we can increase, uh, or oh, actually no, not increase the gap, but make it uh, in our favour in the next stage between Kazar sur and Ludonville. But that will be for the next episode of this Tour de France with FDG of this Pro Cyclist Career Mode with David Godu. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. That would really, really mean a lot to me. If you're new on here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that as well. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bomb Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.